Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today is the legendary day in which we are going to defend Helm's Deep against the forces of Isengard. Saruman the White is trying his best but unfortunately for him, his best is not good enough. Let's get it started. The ring. Helm's Deep, ancient fort and refuge has sheltered the people of Rohan against countless enemies. Oh yeah. To the gate! Draw all our forces behind the wall. Bar the gate and set a watch on the surround. I want every man and strong lad able to bear arms to be ready for battle by night. We'll cover the causeway and gate from above. No army has ever breached the deeping wall or set foot inside the horn. They will break upon this fortress like water on a rock. Saruman's horde will pillage and burn. We've seen it before. Within these walls, we will outlast them. In these walls, we will outlast them. Defend Helm's Deep from the forces of Isengard. See no more, I got you. So we have also a couple of new heroes, by the way, guys. We have Gambling. And Hammer, let's take a look into that. Gambling is level 4, he's also able to get mounted. He has the Defender of Helm's Deep. Every villager able to wield the sword has been sent to the, ar to the armory, my lord. Nearby human spearmen, archers and peasants gain 150% more experience and resist fear. On the other side we have also Hammer, who is also able to get mounted. He has also leadership, Dowart of the Meduseld and Captain of the Theorian's Guard. Nearby King Guards and Theorian gain 150% more damage and 50% armor. And once he's level 7, he's gonna be able to use the call for the King's Guard. Haman summons two hordes of the King's Guard. We have also Eowyn, of course. She has the smite ability. And also leadership nearby peasants gain 25% armor and 25% experience, which is brand new in this you know mod, Shadow and Flame. We have King of Rohan, 50% armor, 100% combat experience. Uh, it's a bit weaker because normally he used to give you 50% damage as well, but without combat experience. And Oaths Fulfilled, he's able to give experience. And he's also able to use the Glorious Charge once, we, once we get mounted. So let's get mounted with every hero we can. Gondor must stand. Gondor must stand. We have also Boromir, the captain of Gondor, Gimli Baggins. And uh, not Gimli Baggins, <laughs> because he's also small, you know what I'm saying? Legolas, the prince of the Mirkwood Elves, and Aragorn, also known as King Elisa. So let's put them down to the wall. And uh, we have only 8 minutes time, I was just talking too much. We need to build some farms to keep the resource income great and Gucci. So let's build all the farms we can. And we can also get mounted with all our heroes at the same time. One of them is dismounted. We need to get mounted as well, my friend. So we have four heroes mounted. And, f you know, one, two, three, four heroes not mounted. Elendil. Uh, we can also right-click on the Hulk Strike as well as on the Extra. And also on Horn of Gondor to stun the enemy units. And, Bo you know, Aragorn can also use the bow, by the way. Which we can use just to shoot from a safe distance whenever we can. There is an archer range. We can get it to level 2. We need to spam a lot of archers. Archers are going to be our primary target, you know, primary resource, not resources, sorry, units for fighting in this mission of Helm's Deep in battle for Middle Earth 1. That is no orc horn. Send for the king. Send to the king. king. We, have, we also get another hero, guys. Hi, is here with the Elven Warriors. It's the first time we see elves in this mod. We have not seen them before. Elven Warriors. No, that's not true. When we were actually in Lothlorien, we were able to see them. So I'm lying. So sorry for that one. We can also demolish the well for now. I would not like to demolish any of the farms just yet. We will need them. We will need also armory. Always use the skirmish formation to deal a bit more damage. Open the gates and send for the king. Open the gates and send to the king. Say no more, my friend. Say no more. Actually, we are getting quite a lot of elven warriors. I like that. Look how many. Oh my. What? Four, six, seven, eight battalions with high yield. Dude, that's amazing, actually. We will need to give them armor and we have only 6 minutes time, it's getting scary and scary boys, it's getting scary and scary. We will need one more archer to get the archer range to level 2, which is going to give us the chance uh, to get the elven flitching, I think it's called, right? Let me check. Elven flitching. How is this possible? I bring word from the elven land. Long ago, elves and men held alliance against darkness. We come to honor that allegiance. Oh yeah, hi there, you are the man, you are the goat, my friend. Let me take a look into your abilities. You are also able to fight with the sword. Quick throw, we're gonna use that. Haldir gains 25% attack speed for a short, a short duration, of course. The March Warden of the Golden Wood. Haldir and nearby Galadrim gain 25% attack and 15% speed. Which means even more attack speed. It can stack with the quick throw. So you can actually shoot like a machine gun. Pew, 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 you know. 
Heavy remnant of the golden wood, Haldir dance his armor and gains 10% armor. Okay, it's a passive thing, but 10%, come on, dude, are you kidding me? Then we have Vigilance. Reveals a small portion of the map. We don't need that, we see an entire map anyway. And once he's level 8, he will be also able to get the Elven skill, grants experience to non-Elven archers within a radius. Okay. But, first of all, let's get the Elven fletching. We are also able now to recruit the Elven warriors. We also need this, this, I mean, just get everything unlocked. We gotta save those peasants, boys. We gotta save those peasants against the war criders. It's been a really long time since I was playing the campaign in Battle for Middle Earth 1, and I'm actually quite excited about this one. So let's use our king and his guards to deal with this war riders, shall we? We are even able to uh, use, you know, summon more Rohirrim with the right arrow. We are able to summon up to four battalions of Rohirrim. Uh, for now, you know, we gotta keep those farms protected for now. Later on, we might be forced to actually, um, you know, replace them. But also, first of all, let's give the Elven warriors the Elven fletching. It's pretty expensive. So elves are of course stronger than the normal yeoman archers, so keep that please in mind. We were able to deal. More refugees, they must be protected from the forces of Isengard. No problem, my friend. Because if you protect them, they will leave you gold and then we can just send them back to die. I don't want to be mean, but let's be honest, I don't want to waste my command points into any of these weak units, you know what I'm saying? So in BFME 1, uh, there is a the major difference is you have like set up deals, you know, you can't have more. Okay, we can kill them, no problemo. You guys just keep fighting. You are the front line. <laughs> uh, can we give them also heavy armor? Nope, they already have heavy armor. What is that? Elven Elvish Mastery temporarily gained 50% range. Holy moly. That's pretty nice. Don't combine them with each other. You will lose lots of damage if you do that. Our heroes are actually... Oh! Okay, it was close, close, close. Come together, my friends, all you want. Okay, we get also lots of money here. Give them also this one first. Heavy armor can also be given, just why not. Let's get them all level 2. No, no forge blades is needed. We need to get a bit more units on the field, I believe. Can Legolas give leadership too? I forgot. Nope, he is not able to give leadership. Okay, we need to close the gate. We also can build a post on gate here. And by the way, what I forgot about is the gate. So we need definitely some units on the gate, boys. What is that? Well, I can build a tower here. That's pretty new. That's pretty new. And we also can build a post on gate here, of course. Did we purchase all the upgrades? Yes, we did, ladies and gentlemen. Demolish the armory the second that's the case. We can build a well potentially, but yeah, let's build a well. Just why not, you know? If you have more than one well, uh, you also will be. There is also gold on the ground. So you guys pick the gold first and then move up on the gate. I'm gonna give you level 2 and also heavy armor, as well as the elvish fletching. Okay, you peasants are gonna be saying hey to the Isengard forces first. <laughs> Alright. Um, gotta get the gold first, yeah. You can also summon more elven allies, by the way, if you want to, of course, later on. But for now, it's not needed. Let's peel back. And the well can sustain for the units. They are almost level 2. I mean, at this point, it's not worth to give them banner for 300 when they are almost level 2. We will protect Middle Earth. The design is also a bit different. That's what I like to see. Do they have all? No, they don't have yet. So we need to give them all level 2, though. They will do some massive power spike. Not only they will get the chance to use the passive, which is either this or we also need to give them level 2. Because they get the chance to use fire arrow, you know? Okay, boys. Isengard is coming. If the Age of Mythology sound in the background, you gotta like that. You also need level 2, my friends. Have we closed the gate yet? Nope, we didn't close the gate yet. Do this the second you can. We are running out of resources, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a good sign. But luckily, that's the first wave, and I believe he has nothing to break the wall or the gate yet. So we should be fine, I'm assuming. And you are also able to uh, change your commander view in this one, you know, and also get ground view, <laughs> like crazy shenanigans. Hold on a second. Okay. Can you get anything? No, you can't. So you guys need this. Okay, we are fine for now. Only Berserkers, they can't do anything. They can't even attack back yet. 
but those units can. And he's attacking the one who has no armor. That's not good. They are no match. Don't let them through. Ready elves. Okay. They will do yet. Oh, they are coming, boys. They are coming, boys. We need a bit more than that. We need a bit more than that. We need a bit more than that. So let's get two of them at the same time. Oh my goodness. Where is Gandalf and we need them? And uh, summon reinforcements. Elmi and Gandalf 70. Rohirrim in about tw 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, and our goal is going to be, of course, to survive until this is going to happen. We will help you fight so let's get one more first. Let's give them this heavy armor and level 2. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, they are coming. What a dark map it is too. We can use Cloud Break if you want. Should we use Cloud Break here? We elves will help fight against Sauron. Let's no, we don't need to use Cloud Break yet. Elven warriors. Elven warriors. Stay focused, elves. Level 2 is needed on these units. Our homes Our homes you guys move defended. also please to this area. You also need level 2 and you also Stay need level 2. Watch your footing. You can go here. Let's use Cloud Break now to stun them. They are level 1. Remember, Cloud Break is only able to stun the level 1 units. So please keep that in mind. Give also level 2 to these dudes because they're gonna unlock the level 2 passive. I mean, that's the difference. You know, Elvish Mastery, they only get range and attack speed while the Yomon Archers get fire. And in some situations, trust me on that one. Oh, wait a second. Let's summon the Rohirrim. Okay, we gotta kill those things and our archers are dealing no damage to these things because they are about to enter the base, my friends. Horn of Kondostan, that's good. We will need more archers, more archers, more archers. Let's give them also heavy armor and elven fletch. Elven fletching is so expensive too. Please kill this. There's a berserker destroying all our army. Kill him, kill him please. Look how many ladders are here. Holy quackamole. Let's use Elven Allies too. We can use Sustain now for the, for the heal. Gotta kill this dude. Aragorn, please do your thing. Does he have leadership? Yeah, 50% damage. That's pretty nice. Okay. Let's use... No, that's not needed. That's a, that's a passive, right? Yeah. And 15% speed. That's good. We will need more archers, more archers, more archers. You guys are going to the spot, please. Right now, the oh my goodness, this is a scary army. But luckily for us, we just killed all the ladders and they have no way of entering the base just yet. Let's all use this for 50% more range and 25% more attack speed. Oh my goodness, now they are coming. Okay, we need statue here. Let your spirits be strong. Oh, they are coming inside the jeans, boys. Actually, we are losing a lot. Let's use Sword Aragorn with the Flame of the West. Legolas, Gimli. You can also right, le, le, jump here. Jump, Gimli. Okay, Gimli is actually pretty strong. I like that. One of Gondor can be used. They might go inside the jeans very soon, boys. Let's not give them this yet. Yeah, but but we need to get some more units on the field. Yeah, wait, Aragorn, you, you need to use Atelas to save Boromir. We couldn't save him in Amon Hen, but we gotta save him now. Oh my goodness, man, they are killing all our all our stuff in a sec single second. Write them down. Hide it, hide it, hide it. Don't die, don't die. Hide it, please. Oh, we lost all the Elven Warriors, boys. We lost all the Elven Warriors, boys. That's not good. Hide it. Can you get away? Oh, we lost someone. Kuma or Hama or whatever his name is. We, we, got, we lost him. We will have lots of leadership here, luckily for us. But we are losing also quite a lot. Maybe I should have saved the Cloud Break. This is so tough, dude. This is so tough. Aldir, you gotta run. All the heroes gotta run now, I guess. Run up, run up. Run up. Okay, we gotta run up. You guys all need to move here. 
We gotta build a statue and also a well. Now they are coming inside the jeans, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we can get some more archers in the meantime. I don't know. I'm just give, gonna give up the first stage, I guess, and just move to the second. Alright. For now, we are safe. For now, at least. We need a bit more archers in the second stage because we need to defend this deep uh, keep, you know? Very important. If we can't defend it, we're gonna be losing this one. Okay, with the statue behind, which grants us 100% damage, uh, and all the heroes being around this side, let's get mounted, dismounted, I mean. We have all the heroes, and we also need to revive our. Uh, we lost both of them, actually. They are so expensive, too. You also need to move up, my, my man. You also need to move up. Now they are coming, and uh, we would be losing every single one of them, I believe. Going now to this side was the right call. We also need to revive our uh, hammer. Hey guys, you guys, you guys gotta move up. You guys gotta move up. Especially Heidi, what you doing, my, my friend? Let's put them around this side a little bit. Do they have all the all the leadership, uh, all the upgrades they need? Not yet, but it is about to be changed very soon. We gotta we gotta put them also behind a little bit. Are we getting more uh, more units around? Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> they broke the gate, boys. They broke the gate. We're also gonna lose all the Rohirrim, though. Not very good. Uh, her leadership is kind of useless now. Gimli. Gimli has died. We gotta get Gimli back on the field too, of course. Can we summon Rohirrim here? Looks like we can't. They have also two bases. We desperately need... Um, we desperately, desperately, desperately need our Gandalf to be here as soon as possible, boys. Aragorn, you can lead the army. Hey, what? What, what is Legolas doing there? Are you kidding me? We must remain I stand wary. as your captain. Are, are all the heroes here? Yeah. But Legolas is being ch killing Shall Legolas. Okay, Legolas is like brave, you know? Does he have, does he get armor from this? But Legolas is fast, luckily. You can also close this gate, man. And I believe that's what we gotta do. Let's get them past inside a little bit, and we can close it. Use with the... You fight with the swords. We have well, you know, we have sustain. The problem is we are not going to be able to get any more units on the field since we lost all the production buildings and we have almost no resource income. Peasants can be used to repair the gate and other than and other Rohan structures. Yeah, well said, but how can I get peasants on the field? Maybe I should have gotten some peasants on the field, if I think about it. Let's build the farms, let's replace the farms we lost. Uh, get archer range, farms. They are coming now, boys. They are coming now. Oh! Hey, that's cheating. Do we have no gate here? Ballistas are also here. Let's use Cloudbreak for a stun. Or actually, at least reduce their armor a little bit. Gimli is back in the business. Gimli's legendary speech. This is no rebel of mindless orcs. These are Urukai, but this is Gimli. Aha! On your face, bro. Gimli is the killer. A king. You gotta be careful. Boromir, move. It's not about the glory days of Gondor this time. It's about the glory days of Rohan. We also need to use Horn of Gondor. But it doesn't do anything, you know? But nearby, una in nearby units gain 25% attack. That's pretty nice. Let's use all this for our extra range. Eowyn, the shield maiden of Rohan, might be in trouble. She has to disengage. The well behind will be doing a good job for us. Trust me on that one. We also need to put them maybe on top of the wall because they are not even able to attack yet. Can we summon stuff? Uh, the answer is nope, we are not able to summon stuff. But we need to summon the Rohirrim. And even more units are coming now. Hey, hey, Hama, I already lost you once. I don't want to lose you twice. And holy quacamole. Boys, boys, boys. Gimli. Jump again. They have also full upgrades, you know, they are so tough. 
Aragorn, where are Aragorn? Aragorn, bro. Don't be a coward, Aragorn. Stay in the front lane and not behind. Use the Flame of the West, which will give you 100% damage. Theorin. Aragorn, you use Atelas to heal pe people around you. Gimli, I mean, I think. Well, actually, we are able to defend ourselves for now. For now, at least. But we have not many units remaining on the field anymore. That's the big problem. Yeah, kill all those ballistas, Rohirrim. That's all you gotta do. That's also nice, nice. Nice. Okay. And we were even able to get some farms on the field, which is pretty dope. Let's uh, get a stable, maybe. For a death and glory moment. The great news is in about 25 seconds. Oh, there is one. Wait, hold on a second. We I want to see. I want to test the this smite. Go, Eowyn. It's your turn to show your quality this time. I don't know, Eowyn. Maybe that was a bad idea. But Gimli can protect you. Oh my goodness. What a hit. Hold on a second. Gimli, you jumped. This Gimli is actually MVP. Where is Shield Maiden? Okay, okay, I, 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 you know, I changed my opinion. Just run. I thought you are able to shoot from here, but apparently not. Or can you? No, is this not melee attack? So it's changed. It's not range anymore. I see you. Let's use this for 25% more speed. And Legolas, what, what you could potentially do is level them up. And also Theodine can do the same. Where is Theodine? Let's give them some levels if we can. Doesn't really work this way here. One of Gondo. Dragon can use LN deal. You can use this. Quick throw. And... Guys, shoot maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know if you want to shoot or not. Oh my goodness. Where is Gimli's jump? In those kind of situations, you need to jump from Gimli because it deals flash da or area damage, you know, which means it's able to hit multiple units at the same time. Flame of the West. Same as the Hulk Strike from Legolas, of course. Hey, King, you gotta be careful, my friend. Oh, hold on a second. King Theorin stands alone, not alone. Rohirrim. All right, run it down, my friends. Run it down. Oh, my goodness. In the meantime, Gimli has to do some shenanigans. Gimli, it's your turn. Oh, my. Gimli is so nice in this one. I like him. I like him so much. Hold on a second. Let's kill all... We don't need to kill that, actually. Let's go inside. We need to go inside the Helm's Deep first to protect ourselves. Did we lose the stable yet? Yes, we lost the stable yet. Actually, we are able to defend ourselves for now, which is not bad. Uh, Boromir is taking some damage, but it's fine. We can always use Atelas. And if we can even right click on Atelas, so he's gonna use it whenever it's available. Let's open the gate. Rohirrim. Okay. Uh, Theoden, it's time. It's time, my, my dude. The King of Rohan, it's time. We did we kill all of them? Yes, we kill all of them. Okay. Let's make two towers here. Yeah, it's time. Theorin. Oh, Eowyn, it's not time for you. Theorin, where is Theorin? Here he is. You get, you get mounted, my friend. We go inside the jeans now. Hold on a second. First of all, Cloud Break. Death! Oh, he's smart. He's actually placing those pikemen right at the gate, but little he knows, we have Gandalf and Glorious Charge doesn't care, doesn't care! Run them down! Nice, 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 nice! So, wait a second, though. You also pick up the bow. You, 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 and also you, no. You, 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 you also guys move down. And... Is he on mounted? No, he's not mounted yet. Oh, no, this guy is not mounted. And all our mounted heroes are gonna join the party. Okay. So our Rohirrim arch is hitting like an absolute track, which is something I love to see. Okay, level up those guys. 
You can also level up Rohita matches, by the way, if you don't know. Oh, it's not available yet? Okay. The enemy has now grown far. Elven warriors. Elven warriors. Let us draw swords together. You have your my blessing, attack friends of Rohan. Rohan. Forward. For Rohan. Be on guard. For Rohan. No, be on For the king. There is... Here. Over here. Brace yourselves. There is one uh, ballista. Still shooting, but look how this range. Pretty nice. Let's use quick, quick throw. Look at the animation. Actually, he's dealing decent amount of damage. We gotta kill the pikes first. Once we kill the pikes, it's not a big deal. I want to see at least one more glorious charge before anything else. Okay, let's summon some more. There are no pikemen around, so we should be in a good spot, am I right? Yeah, we are in a, in a fantastic spot, actually. Oh my, wait a second, we can stack this with this. Look at this, green and glowing at the same time, dude. Watch this. That's the strongest army of Rohirrim you potentially can get. Look the glorious, uh, look the damage from the Rohirrim matches now. Pew, with fire, you are one-shotting literally everything, bro. Oh, Legolas, they are coming too. That's good, that's good, that's good. The good thing about the Elven army is... Wait a second. Oh, this guy, is, this guy keeps dying all the time. Hammer. A uh, gambling, I mean, sorry. You're dying all the time, bro. Who killed you this time? Hold on a second. We're gonna use the sword this time and go ham. Alright, so I, I want to see the Elven army this time fighting with the swords. Let's use this one as well. Look at them. Something you don't see often, right? Alright. They are gone from these lands. Look, our heroes, they don't even fit on the screen anymore, guys. You can't even see Gandalf because of me. And also Eomir is missing on your screen. I just checked OBS because we have like full list of heroes, dude. I mean, you are defending Rohan. Don't talk about Gondor all the time. Let's use heal on them. You can't even buy this, that's only for the opponent we purchased. And you can see the Alvin Allies is reloading quite fast in this one actually, in compared to the Rohirrim. And we can also summon them here. Or can we summon them? Yes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them swords and make them kill all this, um, all this stuff. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you can also get mounted, Eowyn. Let your spirits be Ladies and gentlemen, for Rohan, for our people, as we are using the Glorious Charge, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Minas Tirith is going to be at least as epic as Helm's Deep, which is going to happen very, very soon. This channel is almost dedicated, as we are dying with Hammer, this channel is almost dedicated to Battle for Middle Earth games. So if you are interested in this kind of content, be subscribed to the channel and go ham inside the jeans. With the Cloud Break, we are gonna break through the freezing rain of our opponent. Our units are going to use the Fire Arrow. I, wanna, I will show you guys the burst damage from the Rohirrim Archers once they use the Fire Arrow for a short duration, but it doesn't matter. Every, uh, every unit is going down, every building is going down. Our Elven Warriors fighting on the side from the peasants, from Rohan. And once again, the goods will be defending themselves as Isengard camp has been defeated, but we are not victorious yet because we have to destroy all the forces of Isengard first and say no more. I got you. I cannot believe that. They need one hour to actually, to actually destroy this. I, I guess we gotta call the Rohirrim for this one. Do -do -do -do. And, uh, yeah. Gambling, come on now. Riders of the Mark. Press on. We, all we gotta do is destroy some, some more uh, stuff and then we are good to go, boys. We can also use the For Death and Glory for more movement speed and health. Uh, it's good when you chase down or wanna disengage from a big fight. Let's use Draft. They have not used it once in this in the game, and we are victorious, ladies and gentlemen. Valor and honor have taken this day.
So battle statistics, let's see. Uh, our you know, MVP is of course, is, uh, is always Gandalf. Gandalf actually killed almost a thousand units already and he will be far beyond that at the end of the campaign. Aragorn is actually you know, doing a good job, but Legolas once again will be always able to catch up with Aragorn with a big deal. Gimli was also killing a lot, actually less than I was expecting. Aragorn was killing actually more than Legolas in this one, which is something very strange. I believe normally Legolas should be just, you know, shooting from the distance and should be dealing a bit more damage than Aragorn, but it's fine. Eomi is also not doing bad, uh, of course. Uh, Haldir also did a fantastic, phenomenal job, actually. Killed even more than Gimli as an archer. And yeah, look at this Rohirrim battalion. Since 10, level 10, maximum level, he also played 8 missions, just like Eomi. We were able to keep him alive since the beginning. He killed also 728 units in total. Continue. That was Helm's Deep, ladies and gentlemen. It was fantastic, phenomenal. It was quite challenging, a bit harder than the normal BFME. And you already can see what's happening next. We need to invade the Isengard with our ends. We have seven ends and the daddy of the ends tribute. And that's gonna be for the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a trap. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out. And leave a like for your boy. Peace.